I think for, for where we are as a society, as a whole, if we want to go play catch up, it ain't even enough time in our lifetime to repay what all we've been through. Yeah. That's as minorities. Agreed. Now, double minorities, women as well. Listen, we'll be here all day. All day. You know what I'm saying? All day. Just like the things that you guys put up, it just people in general, right? And I don't believe in, you know, playing a pity party but to mm -hmm. that. But tell me, how do you navigate through an industry that is very dominated by males? How do you get your footing to make your own impact? Um, you know what I'm saying? For that. I think for me, it's really just about coming from love, mm -hmm. coming from my heart. So I'm in this business for a reason, right? And it's not because I want to be famous. It's not because, you know, I want accolades or any of that. I really believe that my presence in this business gives opportunity or gives um, encouragement and, and a voice to other black girls. Yeah. And, you know, I have a daughter, she's seven. I want her what? to be able to turn on the TV and like see people that look like her, that sound like mm -hmm. her, that move like her. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, she's 92. I want her to be able to turn on yeah. the TV and see reflections of her and my mom. And that is super important mm -hmm. for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm such an advocate for young black girls, um, especially those growing up in at-risk communities because I grew up in the hood and I know what that's like. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's like, I can't stop being in this business because then that's a voice missing right. for them. Right. So that's what keeps me fueled and keeps mm -hmm. me going because yeah, the disappointments and all the bullshit that we have to put up with, yeah. I'm like, you know, Let that me, shit is, yeah. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, nah, it's good. But you know, I was, on, I was on this type of time the other day. Big cigar smoker, as you can kind of tell. I see. And big talker, big thinker. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Why is it that all the superheroes, superwomen especially, template, blueprint, shape, creation is off of what type of woman? Mm. You can say it. The curvy black woman. Oh! I mean, but the face don't match. No, because no. I mean, listen, the the one that I'm gonna give you off the jump. When I seen the Incredibles, oh yes, and I said, oh, God yes. damn, Mr. Her Incredibles, ass. shit, what are we doing? I ain't never seen no damn Martha. Yes, you know what I'm saying. That, that not to discredit anybody, but I'm like, golly, yeah. auntie. Auntie look like Cardi B, man. Look yes. at the eyes. Like, yes. what are we doing? I thought the same thing. I was, I was like, like, okay. Damn. Where are we going? Even and she flexible. <laughs> look, let me stop. Elastic girl, thick as shit. Like, let me stop. Yeah, Go. yeah. No, I hear you. But I mean, you know. Come on now. You know. But I for mean, years though, years. Yeah. And it just, I just thought about it because when I was talking, you know what I'm saying, to my homeboys or, or just to any social group, I was like, damn, every superhero in some way, shape, form is cultivated or crafted off of a minority sculpture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you call it culture vulture, you call it whatever. I call it creativity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because one half of it, you can look at it and you can play you know, oh man, you know, they've been biting our style for years. But also to give you your credit, it's not a lot of people who look like that, who has an opportunity to impact or wants to impact. Like you just said, if you leave or you don't do this anymore, there's a voice missing. Yeah. We need more voices to say, no, nah, man, I'm standing on this and this is what I believe in. This is who I'm representing because I'm saving a kid from being in, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, College Park, mm -hmm. uh, Compton, uh, Maryland, wherever, and wherever it might be, it's just something that could be prevented because if they can look at on TV and they can say, oh man, Terry J, I don't even know who she is, but she cool, I can relate to her. That's right, you and it's me? important. It's important for young people to, um, just have references that they can that they can recognize that they can either 
even dream about or aspire to or or yeah. see like that's doable. Yeah. Like and it's so it all is doable. Right. It's like, you know, I I mean, I grew up in in a, in a rough neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I had no idea I would ever, I never even dreamed about where I am right now. Yeah. Because I didn't even know to dream that. Mm. I just didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so now when I'm working with young girls, I'm like, the sky is the limit. They have to see us thriving yeah. and doing amazing things and and um, achieving abundance and, so that they know it's so doable. It's, it's tangible. It's, Very. It's tangible to, to, to get this done. So I just wanted to say, right, not making things weird, but Terry. Don't be weird. I'm not. Okay. You were my crush. Oh, that's not weird. No, like. Man, I would come home in school and boop, <laughs> I cut on that TV and Mr. Har uh, Steve Harvey show was on. Yeah. And I went, Sadie. Yes. I was like, oh, I, knew, I just want somebody to call my name. Like, <laughs> golly, Lord G. And you know what I'm saying? To see you now, when I seen the opportunity that I could talk to you, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It was like 93, kind of 2002, 2003 shit. I was, that was the harmonic years of my <laughs> life. I mean, I'm, I'm going to sleep, man, with, with, with stiffies. Not, oh, man, my, my God, my Cal. Oh, my, my God. Hormones, but listen, my hormones are going crazy. I don't know how to think. And then, oh, going back to what we see on TV, I'm like, man, yeah. man, I seen something black. I seen something beautiful. I seen something submissive. I seen something strong, not weak. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's what I want. I want my prom queen to, to be just like that. You know what I mean? Aww. So, yeah. I love that. That's so yeah. beautiful. So, yeah. That's so romantic. <laughs> yes, but but brash though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it's coming, look, it's coming from a loving place. It is. With no harm intended. Um, but I would say this too, you know, for the female viewer that sees this, because I have a daughter, mm -hmm. right? And I, How I'm not, old is she? she's 15. Uh -huh. She's 15, yes. I have seven kids. So we got 17, 16. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, it's oh hitting me. 16, 15, uh -huh. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Jeez. Yeah. But I want more, though. Oh my God, Pam. Listen, there's. That's a lot. But listen, though. They get the love that they need. Oh, I'm sure. If they didn't, I wouldn't do it. And I've never seen, and I say this respectfully, I've never had nothing in my life outside of my religion that has that much control to keep me on a straight and narrow mm -hmm. than my children. Oh, yeah. So it's like I got so much love to give and I give it to them. And I'm like, man, this is just what life is all about because... You know, I, I always foreshadow my life, you know, God willing, as my grandma had Lou would always say, God willing, if I ever get to like 70, 60, 80, and around the holidays, the only thing, I mean, when you got money, the only thing yeah. that you're going to look for is you just hear them foot. Hey, who did that? Chow, you know, you start hearing out. You that's have a lot of grandkids. Man, listen. You have a lot of grandkids. I, I, I just. Be a house full. Oh, I love it. I love it. And that, that just puts me at ease. So, I mean, a lot of people in this day and age are like, uh uh, you doing too much. But I'm like, uh -huh. you ain't doing enough. I got a plan. You know what I'm saying? If I ever brought one of my children into this world and all my children was brought into this world out of love, mm -hmm. doesn't matter where we are as their mom is, mm -hmm. it's still love there. But at the same time, I just love my kids. You have a uh, child as well. I have three. Oh. I have a 21 year old. Okay. 21, That's 21. the one I was, um, if you remember the last season of the Steve Harvey show, I was pregnant. Mm. Um, so my oldest real son is pregnant. 21. Yeah, I was pregnant in real life. Mm. <clears throat> so my oldest son is 21. I have a son that's 14. And then a daughter that's seven. Okay, beautiful. 